All right, so here's the truth. The fatigue of like just being alive is really starting to set in. Every Wednesday before Thanksgiving, I post a video I have for years, and then I stress wake up on Thursday and cook all day for Thanksgiving, which is like honestly stupid. Like what am I doing, you know? We have dietary restrictions. We're both vegan, Julian celiac, can't eat gluten. So like, it's a lot to expect anyone to ever cook anything for us, you know? So usually we're the ones bringing our own food to wherever we're going or eating it here, whatever. We basically stress cook every Thanksgiving on the day. And I'm like, you know what? Not this year. I'm not doing it. I'm not because I'm fatigued from being alive from my 32nd year, it's a lot. Ladies being alive, am I right? <laughs> so I know that Julian has posted many vlogs of us cooking for Thanksgiving on his channel in the past, but like, I, I'm, I literally just wanna cook today and I wanna feel like a normal person and like relax and have a good time and just sort of show you guys what we're making for Thanksgiving because uh, I genuinely appreciate that you guys treat me like a person and that I'm just like wanna make Thanksgiving dinner. And if you're not American and you don't care, like, just watch us cook something. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be really nice to not wake up at the crack of dawn tomorrow and stress cook just because. Cause then you don't even enjoy Thanksgiving. You're just exhausted. And you're just like sweating in the kitchen. Sweating all day. I will warn you ahead of time. We're not making like any vegetables. Warning. We're not making any vegetables because I'm pretty sure any vegan can throw down some dank green beans, but I did not save all my calories so I could eat some green beans on Thanksgiving. Forget about it. No, no, we no. eat healthy all the time. It's about carbs, okay? <laughs> We're cooking only the necessary stuff, which is carbs and carbs and carbs and carbs and more carbs. Carbs giving. So That's, you just made the food pyramid. I did. I know. So I think we're going to start with dessert. We are making a beautiful apple crisp because we have made vegan gluten-free pies in the past And honestly, it's so much work for such a mediocre product. It's not even worth it So just skip to the apple crisp and give me something good. That's way easier times a million, right? Why are you taking the stickers off? We're not gonna eat the stickers. But it's good. I like it. It's so nasty. Okay, like, here. You don't have to log your food Prove if you it. eat the barcode. Prove it. Oh. Spit it out. I see them in your tongue. All right, so we're gonna be cooking two pounds of Granny Smith apples. We have to like peel them, right? Yeah, we have to peel all of them and cut all of them. But Why I'm gonna- Why are you giving me all the stickers? I love you so much, but it's not about you. To save you all the boredom of watching us cutting and peeling apples, which is riveting. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Be right back. Try to make an assembly line. I'd say the only thing worse than peeling apples is peeling all those potatoes. I remember last year I was like, I'm never peeling another potato again. We made a fuck ton of potatoes last time. Well, because we made them for like 10 people. We cut our apples. Uh, we're just gonna make the topping really quick. So for my celiac friends, we got some gluten-free flour. How much is that? It's 1.5 cups times 1.5. Okay, we're- You can do the math. <laughs> Go ahead and put that in here. And then- Cause we're making extra topping, right? Cause I think we use some extra apples. Since we're like 1.5ing the recipe, which I'll link in the description, one cup of rolled oats, and then three quarters of a cup of each sugar and light brown sugar. Earthbound started making like nice little things like this. So you don't have to jam your spoon into that container over and over again, which is what I usually do. All my other grown ladies out there, when you're tired and you just want to enjoy your food, but like you got so much cooking and working to do and you're tired. Listen, I'm not complaining, okay? I know you guys all have jobs and lives and it's hard sometimes to just cook things because you just want it to be cooked so you can eat it. It says mash, so let's try it their way. And if I hate it, I'll do it my way. Oh, oh no, it's going everywhere. I'm making a Thanksgiving mess. In a situation like this, I think bigger hands are better. Yeah, but careful hands are also really good. <laughs> Get out! Julian! We can do it. We can make it if you let me do everything. <laughs> oh, God. We gotta bring no. the sugar up from the bottom. Yeah, I love spending time with family. Hold on, let me just get full no. control first. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> let me get full control. No, I want full control. This is the good stuff. I don't have a lot of experience making pies. I literally make a pie once a year for Thanksgiving. And to make a gluten-free and vegan pie crust, unless you're making like a cheesecake where it's like nuts and, you know, dates or whatever, that's super easy. But like, you know, a doughy pastry pie crust is like kind of hard and takes a little practice. And I usually end up burning it a little bit. Or it just crumbles 
everywhere. <laughs> and it's just like sort of on the apples anyways. I feel like apple crisp is just like the best of both worlds and it's so much easier. And it's like messy already. So you can reheat it in just like a gloopy pile instead of trying to worry about getting perfect little pie slices, which is a pipe dream. All right, so our topping is done. We're going to cover the apples in, I think this recipe calls for orange juice, which is why I picked this one. Do you want to get the apples ready? Yeah. Get ready! Get ready! <laughs> so, we need half a cup of orange juice. Sugar. Brown sugar, the dark brown sugar, regular brown sugar, and sugar. I already put everything in the mixture. You did? So a tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. This is a trick that I learned from Food Wishes forever ago. He says, if you can, you should always grate your own fresh nutmeg because it actually makes a big difference. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah, it smells amazing. Love me some fresh nutmeg. It's a teaspoon and a half. We didn't slice them like super duper thin, but I feel like that's thin enough. Right? Like, what am I gonna do? Spend seven hours slicing apples super thin? Like, who cares? It's gonna go in your mouth. That's a bite size for me. That's like one bite. <laughs> do you wanna taste one and see if you like the yeah. seasoning on it? It's good. Need more cinnamon, nutmeg? I think it's perfect. So yummy. Ooh, that is a lot of nutmeg I put in there. Told you to stop. I have too much cheese. Easy peasy, so much easier than a pie. Am I right, ladies? can bring some of this to your mom or not because maybe it has too much nutmeg and I ruined it and now is when I just panic about everything for no reason. I'm gonna put the topping on. This recipe by itself was a double crisp apple crisp. So I'm pretty excited because it's the best part. <laughs> it's so nice like to know that tomorrow on Thanksgiving you don't have to wake up and make a dessert. This is so much topping. Wait, I think this is too much. I think we need too much. No, it's okay. It'll be like a giant ass crust on top of everything. Okay. So, <laughs> it's an upside down pie. <laughs> I don't know why we're packing it's an it down. Upside down. Like, it's supposed to be like crumbly. It's an upside down pie. It's That's not... what we made. Are pies upside down? Question <laughs> mark. Um, okay, so you want to know a secret that I learned years ago for making really good apple crisp? Take some butter and just like put slices out on top. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, I mean, that's probably pretty good. So we're done with Thanksgiving, right? No, no, no. <laughs> so how long does it bake for? 30 to 40 minutes. So 20 minutes, you leave it in the oven? Take it. <laughs> why, does, why does butter and sugar taste good? That's weird. <laughs> why didn't you just like lick the counter? Beautiful. Can't wait to eat that tonight before I eat any food. What's next? We need to clean up everything from dessert. Okay, I'll put all the sugar I'm away. I'm not gonna be able to function. I wanted to wipe the counter down, and I was like, "Let me wipe it down." He goes, "Why?" And picks it up and just put it all over this mess. You That's cover not, the mess with the new cutting not board. A solution to your problem. All right, so I'm peeling potatoes. Can I this? <laughs> While Julian starts prepping the stuffing, why don't you show them what you're making? So, because it's pretty unique. I don't know anybody that makes stuffing that way. You wild. I'm making Julian's special stuffing. Well, I just kind of like do a little bit traditional, but then I kind of add whatever I want. So we're doing onions, celery, and like bread that I'm chopping up into cubes. It's not bread though. They're bagels. Well, yeah. So they're they're little little bagel thins. These are what I like to use for stuffing because because it has like the everything bagel seasoning and it just easy to cut and prepare. And then I'm adding some. Beyond sausage, because this is just the best thing in the entire world. So we've never done it with that, though. I'm excited. Well, and also we have bacon bits, which are vegan because they're made out of soy. It doesn't make them good for you, but it does make them tasty. Um, I'll just be over here peeling potatoes until I just want to cry. It's beginning to look a lot like a lot of work. <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and you just like showed up and all the food was just like made for you? Yeah. There's a whole bunch of like, get out of the kitchen, there's too many people in here, and you were like, all right, so sorry. Well, to be fair, that was your childhood, not mine. 
I was in the kitchen. So I have started the stuffing officially. Julian uh, is adamant that he's not gonna use a recipe. He's just gonna make one up. I thought that you had to toast these, but I forgot <laughs> that we're not making croutons, we're making stuffing. So I'm trusting you. You're gonna have the best stuffing you've ever had. I'm telling you. So right now I have the sausage on the pan. After that, I added some onion and celery that I chopped. And so once that's done, I'm gonna put that in a bowl with all of this bread, not a bowl, that big pan with all of this bread and then add some butter and stock and seasoning and then that's, that's how I don't even do know if that's how you make stuffing well that's how I'm gonna make it so <laughs> so the link will not be in the description of this recipe. the link will be in my mind there is no link so this is the pan we're making stuffing in so I'm going to get this butter ready so you're gonna want to do is you want to you're gonna want to do is you take a pint glass oh Julian that's gross I got this much butter that should be enough right I keep wiping my hands on my apron. I fucking love aprons, dude. So this is the sausage, onion, and celery mixture. I'm adding it to all the bread. Ooh. I'm gonna add some rosemary thyme and salt. Ooh. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna mix it around. So we're just gonna do like about a cup, I think. Ooh. Damn, he really out here just doing whatever. Sometimes I put stock in my hydro flask when I go work out so that I'm getting salt and flavor during my so workout. So disgusting. And also hydration. <laughs> It's a savory Gatorade. Savorade. <laughs> then I'm gonna put the butter. Oh. Or is it orange juice? <gasps> Julian, it's butter. <laughs> so nasty. So you're gonna bake this at however many minutes you want, at however many degrees you want, uh, whatever oven you want, um, or you don't have to bake it at all. And last but not least, this is our protein of choice for Thanksgiving. I'd say that Julian has pretty much perfected this over the years. A lot of you might be like, oh, it's sort of like it's vegan chicken. But if you add like enough like rosemary and sage and thyme and stuff in there, it really starts to taste like turkey seasoning. So we're gonna do a bunch of the flour tonight and then just make a little bit of chicken tonight so we can show you and eat some probably. Yeah. But tomorrow morning, that'll probably be the only thing that we make is like another little batch so of it's chicken. Like fresh. Yeah, Julian really yeah. wants it to be like fresh tomorrow yeah. for Thanksgiving. So. All right. So it calls for two cups of flour, but I'm gonna triple that. So we have like an assembly line going where Jenna gets the spice ready, <laughs> and I just toss it in here. But it's about half a teaspoon per spice, roughly. Well, you're making a lot of. We're making a lot. Flour. So. We're like tripling slash quadrupling. But I'll read it what it is. It's flour, nutritional yeast, black pepper, salt, sugar, paprika, rosemary, ginger, savory, thyme, sage, dill, majorum, onion powder, coriander, cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes. Oh my God. It says a pinch of cayenne pepper, but. Mm -mm. We like to make that shit hot. If you want some spicy fried chicken, go a little ham on the cayenne. It's like a flour because you dredge them and then flour them. So it always ends up tasting like way less Toned spice down. Yeah. than you want it to be. Yeah. Plus, who's ever mad at spicy like fried chicken? Not me. <laughs> All right, so our mixture looks like a whole mix of stuff, which it is, yeah. And so you now- salt in and sugar? You, I didn't put salt in. So now we're gonna start mixing it around to make like the full on seasoned flour yeah. mixture. Two teaspoons of salt. Okay. All right, I'm gonna be here for a minute. To get the chicken ready to be breaded, you put it in a buttermilk mixture, buttermilk, and that's gonna come with some egg replacer, some almond milk, some apple cider vinegar. You're just gonna let the chicken sit in it. So right now I'm gonna make that. I feel like curdles, like regular mixture. buttermilk. Yeah, somewhere. The only thing that I really care about at Thanksgiving is something that I don't even have to make. It comes in a can and it's called cranberry sauce. <laughs> My favorite part, it's in the fridge right now and I can't wait to eat her. And the most delicious part of Thanksgiving is the apple cider vinegar. So no one ever. Actually, give me a shot of that. I won't drink it. You're disgusting. Okay, so my potatoes are finished. I'm going to have to restart them. Um, to make vegan mashed potatoes, it's super easy. You just soak almond milk and vegan butter. So I'm just going to do that and mash them. The potatoes are They're done. Good. Mm -hmm. The stuffing came out pretty good. It looks like stuffing at least. It tastes um, really good. So then all we have to do left is fry the chicken. I'm gonna use the wet hand, dry hand method so I can fry properly, but that's it. And then we're gonna have like a little mini Thanksgiving yeah. tonight. Well, for those of you also wondering why we don't make any gravy, I have in years past made like a nice mushroom gravy, but like I but literally gravy. like forgot about it on the counter. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, we'll have a mini Thanksgiving right now and then we'll have a good one tomorrow. Yeah, mini Thanksgiving now and real one tomorrow. I think, oh my God. 
I think the nice part about this is that we tasted the flour dredge and it could totally like use more seasoning. Yeah. So tomorrow we can just add more spices. Go crazy on that fried chicken seasoning. <laughs> it is way, way, way less than you think it is. We just finished everything. Apple crisp, potatoes, stuffing, and fried chicken. No bullshit. All just things that you want to eat. And all this things is you want to eat. And Jenna's the cranberry. The only thing that I care about. I don't get that. Whole cranberry sauce. Oh. Honestly, Whole Foods kind of played me because this is like not really whole berry. It's sort of just like the jelly kind, but it's so good. Are what you are eating you? that by itself? Yeah, you're not gonna eat any, it's all for me. What are you making, dog? Some sriracha mayo. Mmm. Did you put maple syrup in it or just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. so it's like, no, 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 no. That's like what you put on chicken and waffles. I'm hungry. Me. And there you have it. A nice vegan gluten-free Thanksgiving meal with absolutely no vegetables because today is not the day. Every other day is the day for that. But today, mm-mm. I like pepper on my mashed potatoes. The sausage and the stuffing is insane. That's good, right? That shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. Oh my God. It's not rude to eat with your hands if you made it and it's in your house. That's a fact. That is so good. It is really good. And we don't have to cook tomorrow. We get to roll out of bed, be in our pajamas, do whatever we want, and eat our food. For the first time ever, I don't have to stress cook. I was saying, I've literally never cooked on a Wednesday to where a Thursday was just like, we you don't have to do anything. Have a good time. Well, it's like, always gonna, like, wake up and cook. Yeah, we're gonna cook a little bit, but we don't have to like wake up super early and get everything done by 12 so we can go somewhere, you know? And the, honestly, a cool part is that we got to share like what we actually did for Thanksgiving with you guys in time for Thanksgiving, not like after the fact. Yeah. And I know a lot of you guys are like curious about what we eat. Same thing as you do, just a version that I like. Plus like, this is a lot of work and effort and like years of trial and error. I would never expect someone to like cook this for us. So it, that's why we always cook and bring it wherever we're going. Like, exactly. don't worry about us, we'll, we'll be YOF. We're gonna have some coconut. Coconut vanilla. bliss. Oh, that's what the crisp is looking like. Apple crisp me mummy. How is it? Oh, it's so good. Is it good? It's hot, be careful. No, no, no. Julian. Steaming. It is so good. God it's like damn. all the best parts of a pie without without having... any of the stress of the crust. Yeah, but it's like crunchy and tasty and like all the stuff that you like about an apple pie. A little heavy on the nutmeg. I love how that recipe seems so ridiculous with the crisps, but like every time I've ever made apple crisp, I'm like, I wish I had double this crispy stuff on top. That's what makes it so naughty and not good for you. Mm-hmm. Give it for me. Wow. Oh, too hot. You always preach to me not, not to eat before it's cool enough. I have a sensitive mouth. Well, there you go. That's like what we make for Thanksgiving. My mouth is burned. Well, now we can sleep in tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. And I hope that you guys have a really lovely Thanksgiving. Hope you get to spend time with your family and your friends. But yeah, I hope you liked watching uh, what we make for Thanksgiving. This was really nice. And now we can actually have a nice little day off tomorrow and enjoy ourselves. My day off. Mm, day off. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Wednesday slash Thursday. That's so uncalled for. And thank you for letting me make a video of just like real life because it's really nice. Just a 32 year old lady. And me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can be a 32 year old lady. I'm too. down. Honestly, I'm down. Yeah, I'll see you guys next Bye. time. I'm gonna pants your apron. Well, yeah, pants me. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a lovely Thanksgiving. And if you're not American, happy dinner. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye.